Facebook Live, good evening. How are we all doing on this uh, extremely, extremely, extremely hot day? I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you've all stayed fresh. Um, yeah, it didn't get really, really hot really, really quick today. Um, say what's up, guys, if you're around, say hello. Love to say what's up. Um, yeah, it's cooled the down a whole heap now, so um, yeah. Sorry I missed that on last night. Uh, things just got away from me and we couldn't do it, but nevertheless, we're back here tonight and we're getting it in for you guys, helping you out as usual. So I put out a bit of a word yesterday, seeing what guys wanted to talk about and got hit back with a bit of fix out. So we're going to talk about some skirting and architraves tonight and it just so happens to be um, that tonight I can actually show you what some square set um, architraves actually look like and some shadow line skirting so that's actually going to be a bit of a tender talk with actually some uh, some good insight as well too so you know what we'll do is wait try and start building a bit of the audience um, as people start to build start to come on say what's up guys say hello um, I do appreciate you taking time to spend with me here on this uh, hot hot Wednesday night so yeah just um, what we're going to talk about is skirting and architraves so you know, there are a lot of different types of skirtings sizes, shapes, there's absolutely heaps. So, you know, one thing you might want to do, you might want to actually check your tender to see what actually size is included in your new home. Now, for example, um, you may not think about something as simple as skirting or as architraves, but they can make a big difference in, in the look of your house. So definitely something to look out for. Um, a lot of standards might be, you know, 58, 67 mil, um, but then you can increase to change the look of your home. So, guys, say what's up, say hello, just coming in, coming out, um, let me know where you are, drop me a hello, um, I'd love to know what you're doing, where you're watching from, any questions you have, want to answer, um, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Alright, now, <laughs> Jason, no I'm not promoting the new gym at Gregory's Hills, but I do have the shirt on, <laughs> very good, do you go there? So, um, yeah, actually, this is a new, for those of you who don't know, this is a Live Well Health Club, new gym that opened up in Gregory Hills. Very, very good gym. If you are go there, let me know. Drop me a buzz. Say hello. I do train there very early in the mornings. So, yeah, if you run into me, feel free. Come and say hello. All right, so, skirting the architraves. Now, what I want to do here, <laughs> I'll see you there, Jason. What I want to do is show you here is um, got the ability to show you the square set um, square set and there's no architrave around these windows so as you can see um, it just finishes nice and flush and square set back into the home uh, it just gives it a very different look so also too what I can actually show you on this one actually let me flip the camera it might be a lot easier I can show you um, shadow line skirtings so as you can see here there's no actual thick skirting it's just a shadow line skirting um, even here it gives you a bit better look of what the square set um, into the window actually looks like. So you can actually see how they work quite well together and how it can give an actual bit of a different look and feel to your new home. So guys that are new popping in, say hello. I'd love to know uh, where you're from, where you're watching from. Um, we are talking about skirtings and architraves tonight and you know, how they can affect the look of your new home and different types of ways that you can actually change them up. Uh, Robert, how are you? Uh, don't worry, Jason, I reckon I'll see him down there soon. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, ask. Let's have a bit of a chat. Um, skirting the architraves. Is, it is something quite simple. I do have a lot of people um, not really know, not really ask, not really wonder. When I do talk to people and ask them about skirting the architraves, it's something that they say to me, Daniel, it's something I just never have thought about. So, um, Although it's something that you may not think about, it can definitely be something to add different types of style. Um, very cost, maybe cost effective thing that may not necessarily cost a little bit of money just by increasing the size of your skirtings and your architraves can definitely add a good feature to your new home. All right, guys. So listen, I do appreciate you dropping in, spending some time with me here on this very, very hot night. Um, you know, as usual, I'm not going to keep you guys too long. I do appreciate your attention. I do appreciate your time. Um, you know, it is all love and, and all love around too. So if you want to leave me a comment, anything you want to talk about, please do so in the comment box below. 
Um, I'll do my best to help you guys out and we'll talk about him in upcoming uh, tender talks. If you know anyone that's interested in skirting and architraves and they can benefit from watching this, tag them in the comments below or even share this video with them because we are starting to have some really, really good conversations and start to build a really, really good community. All right, guys, I will see you all next week. And Jason, I'll see you in the gym. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.